Hello, welcome back to another painting video. Today we are going to be painting Punisher from Marvel Crisis Protocol. I have his body here and his arms and head and stuff separated into a different thing because this is the black part of the body. The rest of it is going to be like skin tones and stuff like that. So what um, we're going to do a little different this time is this is just a black model. It's pretty simple, but we're going to try to do some other stuff. So we're going to be using our airbrush today. Um, so we're gonna first, we have this primary, which is a regular flat black, and now we're gonna shoot it with some black gray um, to give some variations to the the black tones in his armor. I mean, his his clothes and stuff like that, because you don't want it to be boring. Um, so we're just gonna load this up a little bit with some, all right, airbrush it with some of that, and then put some thinner in there. And then let's mix it up, give me a brush. So we're going to try to do, uh, I remember, if you remember a couple weeks ago, or last week, I think it was last week, I talked about kind of like a zenithal highlight um, with a, like shooting from above and at an angle. So that's kind of what we're going to be doing with a few different like shades of black and like just making it a little bit more gray, but not too gray as to take away from it being a black model. Um, so we got airbrush loaded up. Let me turn on the compressor. Should actually put on gloves for this. Uh, should have done it before I put paint in the airbrush. So I have this little teeny box that I use for like a spray booth. Um, doesn't really protect the sides of anything, but. I don't have anything on my side, so it should be okay. Just putting a glove on while you're trying to... Oops, you have an airbrush in your hand. It's not easy. Let me put it in my mouth. <laughs> okay. So now let's test our... So it does come out pretty heavy, so I'm just going to kind of get above it, just shoot down on it, on the model. <coughs> I have the windows open too, so you, know, you should probably have windows open when you do this. Okay, so that's our first coat on him. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some white to this, our pot right here. So put our matte white. And we're going to put just like a drop in. And remix it. so that we have like a lighter tone. I had to switch the head out of my airbrush to the bigger head. So that's why the sprays are so intense. Um, let's see. So you can see it's a little bit of a different color coming out, but maybe not too as severe as we would want. So let's put another drop in. Make sure you mix it good because you don't want like pure white coming out of here because that would pretty much ruin everything. Okay, that's not enough. <laughs> Just put more of a drop of black in there. Get that mixed up a little bit more. And this one will shoot directly down on top of the model, like kind of. So that'll 
would give us some variation in his clothes. Um, so that'll do that for the black. Let's put this away really quick. And then the funnest part about here comes the fun part about doing an airbrush is you gotta clean it afterwards or else it's gonna the paint's gonna harden in there and it's gonna soak um, let's just put some cleaner in here let's get our box and just ship this into the box this out. Then we have a clean airbrush and we don't need it anymore. So let me just put it away really fast and we'll finish the rest of this guy. Here's our model. Now let's go for the details on him. So everyone knows the Punisher's skull is white. So we'll get that same matte white that we mixed in earlier uh, from Army Painter. Let's get a little bit because we don't need a whole lot. We're gonna get our teeny brush, um, our good old faithful teeny brush because the skull on this guy is teeny. Make sure it's wet. Okay. Get some paint. Now let's get this school painted. It's going to focus, okay. Trusty handle here. So we can get a little bit better of a purchase on this guy. Just do your best to stay in the lines. Get a good grip on the model and take your time and you'll be able to get solid fills on this symbol that's here and not mess it up um, unless I just mess it up right there. I always hit it with a black wash to fill back in those little holes, so. Or at least that's what I'm telling myself right now to not panic. So, just do. Tell yourself whatever you have to <laughs> to get it done. Because I definitely filled in the eye here. Oh, 
a little bit, so I'll have to clean that up for sure. Just don't push too hard into the model or you're going to end up filling the, the holes that you don't want to. Okay, so there's our skull. We'll have to clean up the nose because it's definitely got some, it's a little janky, but we'll get in there. But that's like, that was the stressful part that we got done. So we can, we can breathe a little bit better now. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint, I'm gonna paint his belts with like a tactical uh, green. Uh, where's that? It's not, I want like an olive, like an olive green for his belt. Um, no, that is not it. It is, here it is. So an olive green. So we'll go ahead and get all like the little straps on his holster and his belt. And then uh, his duffel will also paint um, and all the olive green color so we get these pouches the radio will leave black I don't think he, he has, I don't, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a green radio, but you know, you can do, if you want to make the radio green, do it. You don't have to, you can paint however you want. Just get the belt. belt loop for his pants there. We'll maintain that black as if we can. Okay. Let's get the strap that goes to his holster here. strap here we'll kind of use like military colors for his little his gear instead of just blacks just to kind of vary him up a little bit more than just having black colors on him Uh, you could certainly make him just all black if you wanted to. Um, another alternative way you could do too, I think, is you can paint the skull red. And do like a variant there with that. So now we got those. So let's get a bigger brush for the the duffel. Not that big. Get this guy. Use the same green that we had earlier, and then just get here. And try not to hit the boots because we want to keep all that like pre-shading work that we did on him. So definitely don't like fling it around like I've been flinging this guy around. 
It's okay if you get the base, because we'll paint it gray later. And the straps we're going to paint a different color too, so don't worry about getting those right now if you don't have to. I'm glad they came up with the Punisher. I wanted him. He's so cool. He's one of my favorites for sure. Him. Well, Captain America is my number one. My number two is Nova. He is not in this game yet. I hope they add him because I think he is, he's an Avenger. Um, and then, um, then Punisher. I don't, I don't think they need to add Avengers to this. I don't think they need Avengers only. So that's good. Okay, so we're gonna paint the holster a tan yellow. Um, like I said, I wanted to kind of mix a few like military colors in here. Um, to kind of be like, oh, he just mix and matched like stuff that he had to, to become the Punisher. So let's get this holster. We'll hit that with a brown wash later too, so it'll definitely light. Up, it'll darken up. Like I said, we're just trying to add variety to him, so he's not just one color. And you can see the airbrush work we did added a lot of variation to his uniform so it definitely looks more better more better okay so there's his holster now that sit for a bit. Actually, no, let's do here. Let's get this uniform green. Um, so it's a little bit darker than the olive green. Um, it's a little bit more green, saturated of a green. Uh, so we'll get that and we'll get these straps on the, on the duffel with it. Be like, oh, well, you can't really tell the difference. Um, you kind of can. It's subtle. So we might want to maybe change it to the tan and just have it be tan and uh, green. But for now, I think this is going to be okay. like they're not even they don't look that different <laughs> well they kind of do in the light they look a lot different than they do just on the palette okay so we got our main bits done so now we can go on to our extra stuff. All the rest of him, which I primed a different color. I just primed them white because I'm going to try to use uh, a contrast paint that I haven't used before for a lot of it. Here's his head and here's his gun. Um, so I have this contrast for uh, Gulliman Flesh from Citadel. Um, I'm going to apply it to the arms and see how it looks because so I think it's pretty good and then also like we'll have to paint the gloves black on these guys as well as the detonata or I think that's what that is it's like a detonator or a grenade or something 
So let's get this guy popped off without spilling it everywhere. Ooh, okay, we'll just take the lid off. Okay, 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 good. Good job, Games Workshop. <laughs> okay, let's take it. Let's take our arm here and paint it on his over the white. Because my main complaint of my previous like flesh tones that I did, it was they were very chunky. They're not very smooth. I think with this, I'll get a lot smoother of a of a flesh tone question mark we'll see it when it's all done and dried and everything but get the fingers here and get the whole thing it doesn't really matter because we're going to paint that black and black will go over everything so there's one arm let me just stick this into the styrofoam I have up here to let that dry. And move a little bit closer here. Okay. Go into this guy. And we're not trying to like mega clump it on. We're trying to just lightly blush it, brush it over the model. So it works kind of like a wash where it's getting into those recesses and darkening it but also tints our, tints our white color um, with a like tannish color. So there's the other arm. Stick that up there. This is only needed a little bit because it's mostly gonna be a gun, but we'll get the fingers. I wonder if I should keep those white. So here's like the white gloves. And then here's his head. Do the same thing. Just paint this on. His hair will be black. Hmm, I kind of like it. It's really good for heads. Brought out a lot of that definition pretty quickly. Um, so go ahead and let that dry um, while well, that's done. So that was cool. That was a cool little experiment to see like what contrast can do. They could they work pretty well for skin tones probably. Um, let's go in and clean up our uh, skull. Now we can use some known oil. And just try to drop it in and see what happens and see if it'll just fill the the void for us that we don't have to do all the rest of that stuff Let's do this with it. Let's brush it on and then we'll brush it off and hopefully it just stays in the in the deep spots. Or I was way off with some of my paints. <laughs> We definitely have to go in there with a the black. Let's clean that off. Clean that off. Okay, let's get our black, just our plain black. So a little 
little teeny bit on the pellet here. Okay. So now we can kind of see where the the eyes are in here, where the holes are. better. Probably not perfect, but close. Okay. So now that we've got that clean, let's get the gun down and let's paint it with that same black. Just be careful around the, the contrast paint for the hand. You don't want to mess that up. There's a lot of water in this brush right now. And we'll do some stuff to the gun to weather it a little bit more and separate it more from the, match it more with the rest of the body. I'll try anyway. With the glove. I still have some of the sprue on. I left some of the sprue on this um, to help grip it with the clip so that I can get a better feel for it when I'm painting. So I don't have to worry about it falling off. So this is this is where it glues into the model so we don't have to be crazy here but we'll put a little bit on there. Okay, now we're getting pretty close to the hand, so why don't we switch? Let me do this and paint the back of the glove. Just do a smaller brush because you don't want to damage what we've done. I also, also need a little bit more black down. trigger guard. Be careful of the thumb. Okay, whenever you can, definitely, if you have a model as differently colored as some of the sections on here, separate them into little subcomponents and paint them that way. You'll save yourself a lot of headache and back and forth. Or you mess it up and then you'll have to start over. But yeah, if you can 
you can do it definitely separate the pieces out so we got his gun painted let me just get the little pieces that I missed here get the barrel okay cool so it's this so now we'll move on to the other hand over here keep our small brush um, we're gonna get the glove and the detonator that this guy has in his hand on this just take your time Take slow, deep breaths. You're not trying to win a contest or anything, just... You're supposed to be having fun. I paint the, end up painting this radio green or something just to separate it a lot better from the the hand. Um, because it's gonna just look like a big blob otherwise. It's kind of hard to tell like what's what here. Like on this side, it's on the inside of the hand, it's a lot easier to tell what is what. That's the hand painted up. I missed the little spot there. It's a little, it's a little janky in here. Let me see where if I can see it. Okay, maybe I can go, I can go a little further on the, for the hands. Is that like here? Okay. And that'll do for that. Now we gotta get his hair done. He's gotta get his hair did. Um, so it's just black hair. Nothing to worry about. I like to do around the head first, like the perimeter. Um, So that you know you got a good line there and then you can kind of just fill in the rest if you have excess on your brush you can always wipe it off on the upper parts too might have been easier just to take a black wash into his hair um, and then just gone over it with black for like a highlight especially we'd get that little bottom area is a lot easier um, these little undercuts on his head I 
he's got these little dangly bits on his head too. So let's just try our best here. Okay, and then we just fill it in. Still be careful, you don't want to make a mistake and then hit something that you don't want to. Once you can do like white on the side of his hair too. I think he has some in some comic books. He has white on the side of his head, kind of like Mr. Fantastic. So we got it, and then we have like this little, small little outline on the bottoms of his hair, um, where we're kind of, where the hair was white before. So we're gonna take, let me just clean this brush off really quick. We'll clean our brush off, and then we'll get, our known oil wash out again and we'll kind of poke it into the those little recesses there and hope it stays put um, so let's get some on your brush and then just kind of wipe it through Same thing on the front. And I got it a little bit. It helped us out to cover those up. Okay. Now, those guys have had a lot of time to kind of dry off. We're gonna get some, we do some dry brushing of the gun with this gunmetal color. Just put a little bit on our palette here. Don't need a ton. Get our brush loaded up. This is the wrong brush for that. <laughs> okay, where's the gun? Here it is. All right, and then we'll just kind of go through the gun. was the wrong brush for that. <laughs> Let's take this guy. So we've got some metallic into it. Now we're going to take some of that black gray 
that we used on the body, black gray. And we're gonna dry brush it onto the gloves of the hands so that they have a little bit of the same kind of texture and also a little bit more on the gun too, just to give some more variation. Um, and you know what, I won't put it on the gun. Um, we'll use like a white, a, a gray or something on those. So let's just take our brush and just lightly kind of go over that. It adds a nice little color that we want. The same color as the rest of the uniform. Let me get this one. Get his, get this glove. Get the inside. off. Let's go back to our greens from earlier. They should still be wet. And then we'll put, we'll do the detonator in the green color. It's not reading great if, if it's the same color as the glove. But we have a nice black undercoat on it now, so That'll help unify the green on this with the rest of the greens on the on the model. Maybe I'll put like a red button on it or something too. So now he's got that in his hand more so you can see that a lot better. Okay. Let's get some of that medium sea gray. And we will dry brush the gun with it some more just to get some more colors on it. Some more, some more variations to just black. So take our gun, just kind of dust it with this. should do is just give it a little bit more pop it a little bit better if I can find it. Oh, there it is okay so we'll take our gun metal that we had on our palette and we're gonna go into the like the little let's get some little details just pick some details out on the gun where like the bare metal is showing probably like right here too this is like a tube of some sort And you just make your best kind of judgment as to what color you think things should be. Um, and here, I think it's a little old. And then we're going to take some bronze because it's like a weird real rifle type of gun, not like a, a real gun. So we're gonna take that brassy brass color. And we're gonna get inside the barrel, I have like a little split inside. It has like this vent in the side of it. And we're shaking like that just to kind of make that stand out a little bit more. Cool. Oh, we got another. Let's just put like a that color there. Let's do let's do the barrel in this color too. Like the very top is kind of sticking out right here. We 
leave the site black. That we won't. So we're gonna have to go back. There, okay, we're good. Clean that off, get our black paint, and just clean up the little spots where we kind of smudged a bit here. It's all been dry brushed, so we gotta kind of blend it in a little bit better with other colors that we've used to dry brush already. So, there we go. Okay, so we have this gun done. Oh, no, we don't. We have to get, okay, so let's get some vermilion here just to get like the, we'll do the, the button on the detonator and the, like the, the front of the scope here. We'll paint with a red. There we go. So we got a nice dot there and we'll probably do, we'll do a similar dot on the back. No, we'll do, we won't put it red. Let's go here. Let's get a little there. Now it has like a big red button on it. And then we will get our sky blue for the back of the scope. it already not there not there, there. <laughs> the problem with only putting a little bit on your palette is that especially if your palette's messy then you're like where did I put it okay so now we have pretty much the whole thing done we're just gonna do some little light washes over some of the bits that we've already had so we'll take we'll use the agrax earth shade wash Oop. and then we'll get over grab our main body we'll wash the duffel bag with the brown to here as well as the straps on him oh, that's one thing that we didn't get we have to go back and get the belt buckle with the nice silver just get the get those then we'll go here Hit it with our brown a little bit too in these little the areas that we painted. Um, same thing here with our detonator. Get that guy all painted up too, grunged up. Okay, and then. We'll get our silver one still on here. Go back into the belt buckle right here. Cool. Now we can put the whole thing together. Uh, let's take these all down. And we'll get our extra thin cement glue 
So it'll, it's, it'll dry quickly. That's why I'm going to use it here. Um, so first, we will take this arm, his right arm. And just we'll put a drop of glue in there. That's actually probably not the smartest thing. I should probably use super glue. I should just use super glue. Since because there's paint in there, um, I don't know. It's probably going to melt the paint instead of glue. So we'll just put a drop of super glue there. Take his arm. Attach it here. Um, we'll get his other arm here. Same thing with a drop of glue. Just trust the super glue more. Okay, we definitely missed a spot with the, the paint, so we'll get that in a second. Um, let's take this. It's gonna have this little thing on it right now, so we'll cut that off. And we'll just take our brush really quick and paint it black, the little spot that we cut off. And we put our glue down into the hole on his arm here. And then we should be able to just pop this guy in to the right spot. Okay. Now his head. He's out of the way. Put a little drop of glue in the top here. Snip this guy off. Place the head. If we can. How does it go? Does it look this way? Here we go. And then we'll get our Gilliman flesh really quick. on there. Get our little spot that is weird right there. We'll kind of soak it up a little bit so it's not as... Are you sure that's how it goes? It doesn't make sense. Should go probably lower. Should probably be like that. There we go. That's better. And now we have ourselves a fully painted Punisher for Marvel Crisis Protocol. Let's see what he looks like right here. I like the, the contrast paint for his arm, I mean for his skin tone, a lot more than what I was doing before. Um, so let's get this guy out, let's pop him out, get him on the turntable, and we'll see him.